Hello everyone and welcome back to a 2 kiss the dot Okay, so as promised, I came back with one of the cards that I have finished and I wanted to share with you that I had this plastic one it was my extra one that I had all my mixed media things in it Not the paints, but just the mixed media um, like the decoupage and the gesso and the gel mediums and all that kind of stuff some of it because not all of it fit I had it in that container there that you see and I was able to take everything out from there except for these few little things and everything that was in these three boxes so it's this one and this one and this big one all of that was filled with paints and then all of these bags one two three four five six of them all of those were filled with paints and mediums from deco art all of that was deco art and i was able to put it in the cart so that's all my small deco art bottles those are my prima sprays that i had um and uh, like around my cart then up here i have all of the mediums some of my brushes the rub and buff all of the um, small paints from the media line. These are Martha Stewart. These are all the sprays from um, Deco Art. And these are some of the pearlized pe um, paints that I love to use. And I'm running out of them. But um, I love them. Whenever I I'm able to find them at Walmart, I buy them. Um, and they haven't been bringing them in a while. So I have them here because I use them a lot. And um, they're all, these are mostly, yeah, I use the pastels more than the other ones, but um, yeah. So these are the few Martha Stewart's that I was able to get when I went to Vermont. And then these are the rose golds that I bought from Amazon. So yeah, I have all of that. And then when you go to the bottom, I have my big paints down there and more mediums, gesso, medium, more paints from the deco art line and then down here i have the chalk paints the metallics my one dilution paint because i haven't um been able to get the rest some extra brushes and then there's gesso yeah let me walk you around this the um liquitex paints are still there so can you see Everything that I was able to fit in there. These are all the different de decoupage bottles from Deco Art. These are more paints. Um, the collage page, the brush cleaner. But yeah, I'm super happy I was able to get all of that stuff. All of that. There's um the clear gesso from Finnabar. There's mauling cream so all of that is in here can you believe that all of that in that cart so i was able to empty out that one that um bag that you see back there is what had all of these little um pouches and my cart is done now i have to keep on working on the one for the card making but i am super happy so i thought i'd share that with you and then um I'm going to share two more things that I forgot to mention. This cart has two wheels that have locks on them. So you can actually lock it in place. There's a little lever. So you can, when you're um, putting it together, you can decide whether you want them also on which side you want them. So I've put them, there's one here and the one on the back. And then, see? Whoops, I'm sorry, this is the lever. So there's one here and you just lock it in place one here and one on the other side and then the front ones i didn't put anything on but i don't know how i'm going to arrange these cards where they're going they're going to be like this or like this so i just put two on one side and then the other ones on the other so you also have a locking mechanism if you want to um, lock it in place and not have your cat like mine move it although this is super heavy right now because it's all filled with paint so it's not as easy to move but I wanted to share that with you and I also wanted to give you the measurements on the box so that you have that in case you're comparing it to your Raskoff and you have and, and you want accurate um, measurements. So hold on, I'll, I'll get you that. 
Okay, so here are the measurements, so you guys can see that measurement properly because I was trying to do it yesterday with one hand and my phone on the other and it didn't work. So those are the dimensions on this cart. And see, these are the the way they did the um, their locks. So you can put them on one side or on the other side, on the front or on the back, wherever you want and you decide you're going to use your cart with. And the other thing that I didn't pay attention to is that there's a um, like the place where it closes, like the crease on the metal. And I just shoved my shelves in and put them on because the cat was trying to get on top. And I didn't pay attention to that. So I have one facing this way and one facing that way. It doesn't really matter to me because, I mean, I'm gonna, it's going to be against the wall and I'm not going to be looking at that. But if you want to, if you're nitpicking <laughs> about that... Um, yeah, make sure that all of them are aligned on one side so you don't have um, seams showing in different parts. And um, yeah, that's basically, it's super easy to put together. The only thing that gave me a little um, issue was the the um, pressing of the screw. So my husband just tightened it for me. And then there's little um, like covers for the holes that you're not using. And I was trying to put them from the outside in once it was assembled and that was very hard. But then I looked at the picture and you're supposed to put them from the inside out. Those are the only two things that like gave me a little bit of trouble. But from what I remember about assembling my Rascock to this one, this one went so fast and so easy. It's very, very easy to put together. And I did both of them last night in like minutes. So it, it, it took me longer to fill them up. <laughs> So anyways, I wanted to share that with you again. Those are the measurements and um, yeah, that's that's the pretty card from Costco. And if you want to watch the video before, if you haven't and you want to watch the video before it, I put it right alongside my, um, my Rascock from Ikea so that you can compare sizes and see it. So if you want to check that video out, please do. And guys, good luck. If you have a Costco near you, go um, find it. There's a kitty litter behind. And um, I didn't find it. It wasn't in the office section and it wasn't with the furniture. It was like an in-between area between the furniture and where all the sport goods are. Like right before you go to the freezer and like produce area. So it was right there and it was like at the at the end on, on top of a crate. So it looked so small next to everything that was around it that you would miss it because they didn't mine and my Costco they didn't have it outside of the box. So I was walking around and as I was turning a corner, I saw them and I was like, ah, there they are. <laughs> so just so that you know, they're not in the office supplies area and they're not with a furniture per se. There's they had these and then they had um, the big metal shelves in that same aisle, but this one was in the corner like on a crate. So. If I had not been looking for it, I would have probably missed it. So do walk around and search for them or ask them. Take a picture or share a picture from the video and ask them if they have it because they probably have it in stock. So good luck to all of you who are searching for it. It is a really good buy and I am loving it. So that's all for now and I'll see you later. Bye.